Hey, what's up guys? This is Jamie from New Game MCC and today I'm coming at you with a category update. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to locals, so I'm going to do an update today and then I'm going to do a video tomorrow telling you how the deck did and if it was any good or not. And I think it's going to do well because I... Uh, I've played this deck for nearly a year, a year and a half now, and I know what works, and um, the cards I've added should help it, so um, here we go, guys. Um, basically, with Carol Curries, um, they're all about, in one turn, special summoning like Crazy, Synchro, and XYZ, and then just a power attacks. And um, if your opponent messes up that initial special summon or summon, it can really affect you. So I've I've added stall cards in, so if they do negate, like if the bottom last trap all my first special summon and I'm just like shit, uh, I've got cards in that will then like stop them from taking life points off me for another turn so I can set it up again. So first we've got DD Crow, that stops them from getting like the boss monsters back from the graveyard. If I can get other things like a BLS or something, I'll just then drop a DD Crow, uh, discard it and then move it from the graveyard. So um, that that's always fun to do and it it does mess up your opponent quite a bit. Two Necro Gardener. <coughs> if the uh, like rumored ban list that's come out in the last few days is true, then I will actually put Necro Gardener up to three. Um, but for now, it's just at two, and um, it stops my opponent from like killing my. If I have special summon, normal summon, normal summon, and then I'm ab and, like I'm about to do the final special summon or normal summon, and my opponent bottomless is it, and I can't do anything, and I've got two cards on the field already. I'll then use Necro Gardener to negate him from destroying that monster. Then next turn, I'll go in with something else and. Um, I've still got monsters on the field. Uh, we've got two, Karakuri Merchant, uh, basically just Stratos on steroids. Normally what I do is I get out, um, I'll summon him, get out Cash Cash, and then from Cash Cash I'll get, um, like, most probably, I will get Nis uh, Nisashi, because she's just a boss. Um, she allows you to normal summon another Karakuri monster, so, you know, you can come straight in with her, you could you know, if you get these two in the same hand, you can just go Kamachi, um, basic uh, Merchant, then you'll use his effect, you can get any Karakuri card, doesn't really matter, and then you can just go straight into a Synchro of a level 3, so you, uh, level 5, so you know, you've got Beast and things like that. So that, that's a really nice setup, and um, it's a really good card. I've took it down from 3 to 2 because it's not used as much as it used to be. Uh, like I've said next, uh, I've got three Kamachi, just because she really is a boss card. Um, next up, we have two Strategist. Um, what I like to do with this guy is, when I Synchro, I Synchro around three to four times in one turn. That's a lot. And I usually Synchro these three, Beredo. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. And um, then I will put him on the end, use his effect, switch him to de defense. And then these all plus one uh, by me drawing, so it's basically a plus three uh, move. So you switch him to defense, draw three cards. That's that's just a an epic plus of like you know you've just got a lot of good moves. One thing I've noticed about Karakur is um, they don't normally do a bad move. If you if you're gonna do something with the Karakuri, you're gonna plus three or four times in one turn, and that that's always good, and that's actually quite broken. But this deck, deck flies under the radar, and um, that's what I like about it. It's a very powerful deck, and it is, it's extremely competitive, but no one seems to no one seems to run them, and that's I quite like that. I like having a deck that hardly anyone uses. Uh, next up, we have two ninja. Uh, basically, this guy just you attack, destroy a monster, and then you can special summon one character from the graveyard. So you can attack, <coughs> destroy a monster, special summon Kamachi. Keep her on field next to normal summon two Karakuris, or you can sink her into a level seven. You know, you've got Landoy, things like that. Next, we have two, uh, three Karakuri Soldier. This guy is basically a staple in the Karakuri deck, if you guys don't know that. Um, he just, when he's destroyed, it, it, like all Karakuris, he switches defense when he's attacked, but when he's destroyed, you can special summon another Karakuri. So um, it's keeping monsters on your field, and it's keeping monsters on your field so you can XYZ next turn, or <coughs> synchro, or, you know, just go off on one and. Do some pretty cool shit, guys. <clears throat> Next, this is kind of a, a big tech choice for me. Nobody runs this. But I've got three Watchdog. The reason I've got three Watchdog is... Um, he allows me to... This guy, single-handedly, allows me to synchro three, four times in one turn. I will get a Beredo. And then I usually have another level four on the field. I will get Watchdog, Synchro. And again, I'll get another Watchdog, Synchro. I don't use his effect. It's just because he's a level four. Another good reason for him is... If I've got Watchdog, I will uh, 
sometimes I'll go into things like Bryonic and um, I believe Orient Dragon, level 6. I will just check that, guys. Yeah, I'll go into um, Bryonic or Orient Dragon with this level 4 and level 2. So um, it works really well with all the cards in the deck and I can't fault it. So that's the reason I run it. Um, next up, we have one Hypey. Uh, basically, again, with the Burrito move, I've got so many moves for that one Synchro. Um, I can put him on the end, and he kind of does what Strato, uh, not Strato, sorry, what Strategist does, but he doesn't switch to defense straight away. You can attack with him first, and he's a 2100 beat stick, especially since he's only a level 4. Attack with him first, and then he switches to defense automatically. Then you can plus your 2 draws, 3 draws, or just if you've got 1, plus a 1. So, um, you constantly draw him with the Beredo on the field. And when they're attacked, they switch to defense. Not the Beredo, uh, Beredo but all Karakuri normal monsters. So when Beredo's on the field, you're constantly drawing cards. And you're milling out your deck and drawing cards that you can use to go off on another adventure of special summoning shit and all that fun, good stuff. The last Karakuri monster I have is one Karakuri... Uh, <coughs> sorry guys, I've, I've got a really shit like sore throat today and it's just not nice. I've got one Ninashik. Um This guy, again, I will put him on the end of a Beredo. He's a level 5. And then I normally use Komachi to go into level 8s again. But um, I don't use his effect. He's just a 22 beat stick. And if I'm going for the OTK, I will go all three Beredo in one turn. Then him on the he on the end. And you're looking at easily already um, an 8,000 attack with just their 2,000s. And then you've got their... I believe Beredo is on 800 as well. So you got three 2 800s and one 2 200. You know, your opponent's got no chance of surviving if you've set it up perfectly. The last two cards are Cyber Dragons. Uh, this guy, basically, if my opponent's got a monster and I haven't, I will go Cyber Dragon, Kamachi, and any level 4. Doesn't matter which level 4, you've got so many level 4s, you can always pretty much summon one. I will then Synchro, Cyber Dragon, Kamachi into Beredo. Beredo special summon an, a watchdog, synchro with Ninashik, and then special summon another. And then if I'm lucky enough to have maybe a monster reborn, or um, I will destroy a showdown castle with an MST, um, to special summon a Karakuri from a graveyard, and then I'll synchro again. And um, it's, it's a really fun move to do, and it is one of my favourite things to do with this deck. <clears throat> right, so next up we'll do traps. <clears throat> There's only four traps in this deck. You've got one bottomless. Again, it's kind of like the stalling element. You don't want your opponent to be able to just destroy all your shit. So if they bring out a boss monster, you will go bottomless straight away, remove it from play. You've got no problems. You've got rid of the main card. It's done. It's over. Next up, you have a Call of the Haunted. Um, if you, Like I've just said with that other move, if you're lucky enough to have a monster born, but Call of the Haunted also works. If you've set that before, Call of the Haunted, you've got another monster to be able to synchro or Xyz with. So Call of the Haunted's a, a nice card in this deck, not many people use it anymore, but I still find it useful. 1D Prison, again, stalling, stopping your opponent from destroying your monsters that you're going to synchro with next turn, and then <clears throat> obviously you move from play as well, so it pretty much stops them from getting it back unless they're running a DD deck. And last up, once again another stall card, we have Solemn Judgment. Uh, this card, you all know what it does, you all know why it's a boss card, uh, you can negate basically anything by having half your life points. So, if you're in a really tough situation and you have to negate, then Solemn Judgment is a good card to use. Okay, spells. Two, Showdown Castle. Uh, this card, you can basically, when your Karakuri attacks, you can switch the a monster that you're attacking to at attack or defense. So, if it's a really strong monster but a really weak defense, you can switch it, attack it, destroy it. If it's a really strong defense but a really um, weak monster like attack, you can switch it again, attack it. Also, when Showdown Castle is destroyed, you can special summon one level 1 to 4 or higher Karakuri Monster. I don't know why they haven't just put Karakuri Monster, but it's 1 to level 4 or higher. So, um, you know, if you've got Beredo in your graveyard because they got rid of him, you can special summon Beredo back, or you can go Kamachi or any Karakuri Monster and you can get him back straight away. I like to use MST on this, this card, because if I'm wanting to Synchro, MST gets him gets out straight away. 3, Karakuri Ato uh, Anatomy. Uh, basically, the 6 am United of this deck, it adds two counters every time a Karakuri switches attack or defense, which that's their effect when they get attacked. So they, they add up, basically, you can get two counters on it in one turn, like that. 
especially if you're using cash cash as well you can set up your own move and then you just discard it and draw two cards that's <laughs> that's the, that's as simple as it is guys next up cash cash uh, you switch the attack and defense of a Karakuri monster and then you can special summon uh, not special summon sorry add a Karakuri monster level 1 to 4 from your deck to your hand next up heavy storm and 3 MSTs this is bat row hate guys this deck is all about insane attacks insane special summoning getting like having control of the field and then just attacking 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 and if your opponent's got a back row like mirror force or like giant grenade that fucks you over big time or even bottomless drop hole can really mess up your turn so the reason i'm running like four basically back row destroyers is just because i don't want them to have a back row if they if they set something i will mst it i will mst it mst it epi storm it and uh, they also come in handy for when I want to destroy my showdown castle. Next up we have Machine Doop. Machine Doop um, basically adds to your ability to uh, synchro. So what you do is, as I earlier said, this this is basically maybe out of five games, This is I do this first turn three games. So you can Cyber Dragon, Komachi, level four. And then, what you do then, guys... This is where it gets fun and interesting. You then go Machine Dupe on Kamachi. So you've got another two Kamachis. You Synchro Cyber and Kamachi. That's a good move. You get your Beredo. Beredo then Special Summons a level 4. You then go Watchdog. <coughs> um, when I find my cards, here we go. Uh, you will then go Watchdog with this guy. Synchro again, level 8. Another Bredo. It's all fun and games. Special summon another guys. Okay, this time we will go with Dinashik, level 5, level 3. Synchro, level 8. You will then special summon something for Komachi. Now, you can do many different things here. You can go a level 4, get a level 7 like Landois. You can go a level 2, get a level 5 like Beast, which is a good one. Especially if your opponent's going to like fuck you over with alcohol or something random like that. Uh, beast, you can get Beast out by just, you know, special summon in Merchant, Synchro, Comachi in Merchant, get Beast. Or, um, something that I like to do, is I go Strategist, switch it to Defense, draw three cards. That's a big draw for you guys, you, you've got a lot in your hand then. And then I will Exis with these guys, and if I can get older one, I would go that M8, uh, ah, what's his name, the Evoker one. Um, Kinda looks like Gotham's. But I will then go for any of these. Uh, either the Dijins or Terabyte. Terabyte for the defense aspect and you can take control of a monster to give them an open field. If they've got one monster stopping you from attacking them directly, you can go Terabyte, gain control of their monster, attack directly. Or then there's just the Dijins. I like the Dijins and I think they do actually do quite well in duels. So that's why I use Dijins. But as you've just seen then guys, there's so many moves to do with this deck, it's, it is incredible. And it, that, this is why it's my favourite deck. You know, I've got a few decks, but none of them compared to this deck at all. Right then guys, the last three cards in the main deck are Monster Reborn, just staple guys. I hope it doesn't get banned like everyone wants it to, because I don't think it affects the game badly. I think if you're lucky enough to pull a Monster Reborn, good on you, try and go for that last ditched effort at... Uh, you know, surviving. One day of peace. Uh, look, I'm going to get one more. And again, this is a stall card. This allows me to get a card to my hand. Get If I'm missing like a Cyber Dragon, it gives me that extra chance to draw a Cyber Dragon. And I can't, I don't take battle damage. So it's it's a win-win all around. And then this is kind of like, a, if I get the shittiest cat hand in the world, like it's all spells and traps, then I will just magical mallet and have another chance at drawing. And that is the main deck, guys. Um... I fucking love this deck, honestly, it's the funniest deck I've ever used, um, I'm so glad I got, uh, I chose to build it when I did, and uh, I've just seen it progress, and progress, and get better, because at first it was a shit deck, and I didn't know how to use it, and now I can duel with this deck in my sleep. We do have a side deck, somewhere, I did have a side deck, guys, <laughs> I think I've put it in with my main deck, uh, yeah, I did, um, Right then, so the side deck is uh, not really anything amazing. Just got a power bond. We've got a trick house. 
Giggiano. Um, when I'm going to the sneak peek.